News 8 at 6. Local people, local news. Good evening, everyone. Some parents in the Shelley School District are not happy with the leadership and administration in the district. More than 100 people showed up, apparently, at last night's school district board meeting. Uh, Natalie Shaver learned a little bit more about that today and found that their uh, kids aren't maybe in an environment that they like. What did you learn? That's what they told me, Carol. Some of their concerns regard instructional practices to how the administration handled the athletic director with the battery charge involving a student. Some parents even feel like the district leaders don't listen to them. Well, they're not being handled, and that's what we feel is a problem, and that's why as a community we decided that we need to um, come together and go to the public because all our complaints are being swept under the rug. They even say they'd like some of the administration gone, something Shelley School District Superintendent Brian Jolly says isn't easy to hear but comes with the job. Uh, people will question your judgment, people who will uh, think there's a better way or a person that could do it better. Uh, and so you have to understand where that comes from. That's to be expected. Um, but at the same time, it does, it's not going to prevent me from doing my job. Big problem. All these other problems just support the incompetence of our administration to hold our teachers accountable and, and the, the unprofessionalism of some of the teachers that are not taking their job seriously. The women say there are great teachers in the high school, but they still feel their kids aren't in a good learning environment. You know, we have allegations against our athletic director right now for a uh, battery against a student. And uh, why the principal has not put him on a, on a paid administrative leave to protect the students, to protect that teacher, that athletic director, from his own endangerment, I can't, for the life of me, understand why he's not being protected and our kids aren't being protected. If the district and their legal counsel or the police thought there was a risk to students, safety or otherwise, if that individual stay employed, it wouldn't happen. They would be on leave. And that's a huge distraction. Like my daughter has numerous times said, when I'm walking down the hall and that athletic director comes down the hall, it creeps me out. My own daughter, she's a freshman in high school and loves school, loves to be involved with activities is involved with student government, sits in uh, classes with uh, the athletic director and thoroughly loves the, the education she's getting and working with him. Uh, it's, if I felt like there was a threat, do you think I would have my daughter in there? Some parents feel like they can't voice their concerns. They tell Local News 8 they feel intimidated. The school superintendent tells me the district prefers to hear how patrons feel, and the district does take their concerns seriously. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Natalie Shaver. All right, thanks, Natalie. And the superintendent has been in education for 33 years, 30 of those years, in administration. There's a new superintendent in Blackfoot.